It's Tuesday again, and I am coming to you from the study room of my dorm. Two thumbs up for academia. I dressed a little bit like Sherlock today because I had my first debate and I wanted to be more confident in myself because I'm actually quite terrified of talking to people. And it must have worked because my partner and I definitely annihilated the other team with our epic logic. So that was pretty awesome. I am very, very excited for this Saturday. I really am hoping that I can find a live stream link that is going to show both Doctor Who and Merlin. Because my biggest fear at the moment is that I'm going to find a really awesome live stream link and I'm going to be able to watch Doctor Who and then the person's going to cut it off before Merlin. So I'm going to have like five minutes to scramble around the internet and find a new live stream link and then I'm going to miss Merlin and it'll be terrible. Last week we actually found four live streams so we had them all up on two different computers so that way if one of the live streams froze or if there's ads or things we had it covered and that seemed to work really well. So I'm hoping to have good luck with that next week also. Jo gave some really good book recommendations in her last video and I appreciate those because some of those books sounded fantastic and I can't wait to read them. I have two book recommendations for you. The first is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. And then the second is its prequel called The Angel's Game. And these are my absolute favorite books in the entire universe. Their plots are amazing. They're basically about how awesome books are. And um, The Shadow of the Wind is more about a reader of a book, a certain book. And um, The Angel's Game is about a writer. And both of them, they're, con they're a little bit connected. You can read them separately or you can read them together. But their plots are so intense and so intricate and and perfect. But even better than that, it's basically like an English nerd's dream come true because you just read it and you just want to weep because the way he says everything is just so beautiful and so amazing. Like, I just, I can't. I can't. They're so good. So if you're ever bored and thinking, you know what, I wish I had a good book to read, you should read those because you won't regret it, I promise. My roommate and I had a Sherlock party on Saturday and about eight other girls from our dorm came over and we watched all three episodes and then we watched the unaired pilot and then we watched the behind the scenes stuff. Half of us had seen Sherlock and so we were freaking out at all the awesome parts. When it got to the pool scene, all of us were like, ah! And the other girls who hadn't seen it were like, what's going on? We also took milk shots every time there was gay subtext and then we ran out of milk. So that says something. Sometimes I think that my obsession with Sherlock has gotten just a little bit out of hand. And then I ask myself if I really care. And the answer is always, oddly enough, no. I'm just gonna go now. So I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!